Hey guys, it's me, Callie. I am back with yet another Goddess Provisions unboxing video. I'm always excited to see these in my mailbox. I believe this is my fourth one. Um, it's a monthly subscription box, and I'm reading here, containing high-vibe lifestyle goods to nourish your inner goddess and grow your spiritual practice. And so far, I've loved each and every box that I've gotten. This is not a sponsored video. I pay for my goddess boxes. I believe it's $33 a month. I'll leave all the information and all the links below. I encourage you to check it out. It is well worth it. Um, and if you'd like, if you want to stick around at the end of this unboxing, I'm going to do a little mini review of last month's products, okay? So let's get started. I've just slit the box here. I have not peeked at all. We're going to take this card and just set it aside. I want it to be a surprise. And let's get started. So I see bubble wrap. So let's go for the bubble wrap. And it's heavy. Oh, I'm excited. I don't know what this is. I did bring scissors and my glasses. Oh my God, you guys, are you kidding? Oh my God, look at this stone. Wow. Okay, let me read from the card here. Are you kidding me? This is a polychrome Jasper. Jasper's grounding quality will help you root down and connect with nature. Each piece is a unique blend of colors with the red spots known for enhancing passion and yellow spots for strengthening willpower. Hold the stone in your palm to balance the emotional body and take in its unique healing energy. Oh my God, I wish you guys could hold this stone. I've never had anything like it. I love it. This alone, you guys, makes the box worth it for me. Are you kidding me? What a way to start, okay? And this is a $20 value, and I'm surprised that it's actually not more. Wow! It's gorgeous. It's huge. Look at that. Love this. Okay, we'll set that right up here. Wow, what a way to start. Okay. Reaching in. Bad girl, good tea. Check it out. For those of you who know me, know that I'm really not a tea drinker. I'm a coffee drinker, but I I would like to be a tea drinker. Um, just not there yet. So let's see what this says. Bad girl, good tea, flower crown tea. Sip your tea and allow your crown chakra to bloom as you take in this magical blend of organic green tea, white tea, oolong tea, marigold blossoms, rosebuds, cornflower petals, pineapple, and mango. That sounds really good. Yes, I even have little cool little tea balls and things like that. Um, but I hope to one day be a tea drinker, so... We'll try it out, though, so I can let you guys know how it is. It's better than my birthday. Chocolita Lavender Dream Time. Okay, raw dark chocolate. Um, I sound like a broken record, but for those of you who know me, know I'm not much of a sweet girl, but I don't mind a little bit of dark chocolate once in a while. So let's see. Melt into sweet dreams with this delicious raw chocolate bar made with heirloom cocoa, soothing lavender, go-to cola, and mugwort. $5 value. Okay. Oh, and the tea was a $9 value. Well, it's not sleepy time, but I would like to try this out for you guys. It's got a really cool wrapper, which I will keep because... I am a mixed media artist, and God knows I could glue that down to something. Let's just take a little taste. I hope I don't need to take a nap after this. 
Ooh. Very nice. Almost too pretty to eat. There's the back, and it looks like there's actually lavender in there. Interesting. I know I'm a big lavender fan, but I've never cooked with it. I know people do. Let me take a bite before it melts. Hmm. Interesting. Very strong dark chocolate taste. It's not sweet at all. Very creamy. You can definitely taste the lavender through it. Not a huge fan. I probably will finish the bar though, so I don't dislike it. A little goes a long way, and that's how it usually is for me. Speaking of coffee. Excuse me. Um, so I'll keep this to nibble on until it's gone. That was okay. It's always nice to try something different, you know. I certainly wouldn't, I would pass that by if I saw it in the store, and now I can say, oh, I've tried lavender chocolate before. Nice to branch out. Let's see, what is this? I'm excited. Always excited for oils, etc. Nice packaging, huh? Let's see. Flora Rem Rem Remedia Let Go Perfume. This essential oil blend is made with willow, honeysuckle, and star of Bethlehem flower and essences to help you let go and conquer obsessive thoughts and behaviors. An $18 value. Wow. Let go. Beautiful bottle. I love the fact that they give you oils each month. I just, I can't say enough good things about this box, and I know, mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. Very uplifting, very bright, very, like, strong, um, and some kind of citrus. I mean, it's very lemony. What does it say? Willow, honeysuckle, and star of Bethlehem. I do smell the honeysuckle. I don't know what Star of Bethlehem smells like. I like it. Very, very fresh and springy for the summer. Um, this is very bright. Just brings the color yellow to mind. Hello. Can't fool me, but super crisp. Um, tart, even. I like it. I think a, a guy would like this, too. This is um, not just for women. So, super nice. Wake you up in the morning. I like it. Okay. How much do you love this box? What is this? I don't know. Modern Minerals Lip Gloss. This love of attraction crystal infused lip gloss combines pink camellia flowers and pink tourmaline with a Lotus Way blend of lavender, chamomile, rose, and neroli. $25 value. Well, that sounds very special. Let's try it on. Okay. A little doe foot applicator. And all of their products are vegan and cruelty-free and responsibly sourced and non-GMO, etc., etc., Mm. It has a nice smell to it, too. Um, I like it because it's not very sticky. It feels really moisturizing. It has a clean scent to it. It almost smells like coconut oil a little bit. I like it. What do you think? Nice and neutral. Pretty, pretty. Always looking for good, natural brands. I said that was a $25 value, right? Again, not something that I'd be looking for, and now that I have it, I'll probably reach for it all the time. Okay. Very cool. What is this? Kava Spray? Everyday Stress and Anxiety Relief? So this is a de-stressing um, box. 
Let's see. Spray this Kava Kava Lobelia Herb Passion Flower and Lemon Balm Tonic under your tongue for a fast and natural way to relax and unwind. A $29 value. Wow. Embodies the Aloha Spirit All Natural Extract that provides immediate relief from everyday stress and anxiety. Spray under your tongue, wait 10 seconds, and swallow. With just a few sprays, all the stress and anxiety weighing you down will start to disappear, leaving you calm, relaxed, and like the best version of you. Yeah, all natural, gluten-free, kosher certified, non-habit forming. Uh, wow, okay, $29 value. Let's check it out. I wonder if you're supposed to keep it back in this pouch here. It's coming with information or some kind of snap. Push the top of the cap forward to open. Spray underneath your tongue. Pause 10 to 30 seconds and swallow. swallow. Meditate. Breathe deeply. Oh my goodness. All kinds of instructions. Okay. And this is... Oh, there's their information. All right, let's check it out. Oh, I love these little plastic things that I can never get off. Here we go. Come on. Opening the package will give me stress and anxiety. After that, it'll all be downhill. All be a piece of cake. Okay. What did it say about... Push the top of the cap forward to open. Well, I think that was it. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Well, the underneath, of, I'm not having swallowed yet. The underneath of my tongue feels numb. Very strong minty, pepperminty. Uh, actually, yeah, it feels like the backs of the underside of my tongue, like I ate Ambisol. Uh, interesting. Totally numbing. Um, makes my breath feel minty fresh. I don't know. Here I am talking. I'm supposed to swallow and meditate and om. And so I'll have to try that. I'll get back to you on this. But right now... It's not really a, a very pleasant sensation, honestly. I kind of feel like I just got back from a cleaning at the dentist. But interesting. I'll get back to you on that one. All right. And then this, what is this? Very beautiful. <gasps> ooh. Technician of this. Ooh, look at this. Oh, my God, you guys. These are stickers. Oh. <gasps> I am in love with these. Are you kidding? Technician of the Sacred Sticker Set. Raise your vibration with these cosmic flower mandalas. You use both stickers to adorn your car, laptop, or favorite water bottle with flower power. Six dollar value. These are gorgeous. I would totally have stopped and got these at the store. Ooh, there's two of these, too. I can give one to Tom. Oh, oh, one of these is definitely going on my guitar case. Which one's your favorite? A or B? I love them both, but I think B is my favorite. I don't know. Hard to choose. <gasps> love those. Okay, you guys, that's it for the box. Are you kidding me? Oh. <gasps> Uh -huh. I'm in love with this. Two thumbs up once again. Goddess Provisions, thank you. Um, if if you would like, I will happily be a sponsor for you guys. <laughs> love you. Send me more boxes. Um, no, I'm happily continuing my subscription. Happy to share it with you guys. Let me know what your favorite product was. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Check out all the links below. And if you're interested right now, I'm going to give you a brief overview of some of the products from last month's box. So, um, two things I won't be showing you. 
are the pins I had, um, which I'll be keeping, and a little patch, the crystal charge-up patch, which will find its way to a jacket or something. But here are some of the actual products that I tried out. And one of them, speaking of oils, is was this Awaken oil, the throat chakra uh, energizing oil. And this also smells amazing. And I really like it. So I'm super pleased with this. Um, and I recommend it. So very happy with that. And also, I had finished up, this wasn't in last month's box, but the month prior. I can't say enough about this. I want to get some more. Um, this was the Meow Meow Tweet Natural Deodorant Stick. Um, they're actually very local to me. They're very close by, within a half an hour drive. So I might want to check them out. They're in Akard, New York. Um, this was a lavender and bergamot um, deodorant stick. Hang on a second. Sorry about that, you guys. Must be my ghost. My TV went on all by itself. So anyway, two thumbs up to this deodorant as I throw it across the room. Um, and I really enjoyed it, and I will be getting some more. So that was great. Um, let me see. What else? This mask um, was in last month's box. And this is a powdered mask. And you actually have to mix it up with water and apply it. Um, I have to say it was a little messy for me. I don't have a lot of patience when it comes to, like, beauty hygiene things of mixing and messing. I kind of want to just have a product to use right away. But um, this did do a good job as far as masks go. Um, it left my skin clean and glowy and all that stuff. But, again, it was super messy. It was... it kind of clung to my sink and things like that so um not not really my favorite but I will use it up um I didn't hate it it's just again it was more of the mess than the actual product the product itself worked as it was intended to um speaking of mess this I got a clarity bath bag um which was some herbal bath soak and they gave you this little cheesecloth bag and as you can see, I used it. Again, it smelled very nice. It was very relaxing. Um, it, you know, I don't know if it brought me clarity. It was cleansing for sure. But again, to take, you know, the bag and put the herbs in and, you know, it'd be nice for a ritual bath or a special occasion, but this isn't something I'd be doing on an everyday basis. So you know, it smelled great, and, you know, obviously the bag keeps all the herbs together, so it's not all over your tub. But it was a little fussy for me, but that's just me. Um, the product itself, again, was fine. And then also, this uh, treated tub, I got this little bag with a soap nut in it, as well as this soap berry shampoo. Um, I used up the shampoo, and I have a lot of hair, and this was enough for two applications. So this was fine. It was very lathery. I was surprised at the good amount of lather. Left my hair smelling very nice and clean and shiny and lavendery. Um, you know, I only used it twice, so I can't say if it made any significant difference here or there. But it did the job. So that was nice. This soap nut, I was excited to try just for the novelty sake of it. Um, and you you take these and I put it in boiling water and I actually kind of let it soak overnight and I tried to lather it up and honestly, maybe just because there's only one, it really didn't work out for me. Um, maybe it's just a dud spud. I don't know. Perhaps you need more. I like the idea of these all natural soap nut berries. Um, I am going to try to try it out again and see if maybe there's a seed inside which I could plant which would be fun but uh, I'd be interested to try these out with more of them uh, one didn't wasn't really that effective for me so anyway all right that's what I have to talk about and that's all I have to review so again give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you have not yet subscribed check out goddess provisions box all their links below and I'll see you guys very soon Peace and love. Take care. Bye -bye. And just one more thing before I go. I forgot to tell you, I took the pendulum from last month and put it on a chain. So...
There's that amethyst and garnet pendulum. I'm now wearing it. Now I'm saying goodbye. Love you guys.